Today we're talking about kill switches. Kill switches on a VPN. And the most important part about any VPN actually is the kill switch. So let me explain to you what it is and how it works. So guys, looking at NordVPN right now, I'm gonna show you exactly where to find kill switch, all right? If you go through all their settings, you'll start to see all the way down to the button kill switch. Now, you don't know what this is, let me tell you. When you're using this VPN, okay, and any VPN, there'll be somewhere where it has the kill switch feature. If it doesn't have it, I don't recommend using it, okay? NordVPN actually has an advanced, but for the basic kill switch, what it does, it gives you protection online. So when you connect to one of these servers that you can see here, say if we connect to France, okay? Now we're connecting to France, you can see the server number, 831. The kill switch, if 831, for some reason got blown up, went down, destroyed, broken, it would delete all of your information. So it doesn't stay on the server. That's what a kill switch does. Now with a kill switch advanced, okay, you've got that on as an additional security layer for protection against rare and specific IP leaks when you're connected to the VPN. So the advanced kill switch is optional because while it ensures your security, it might interfere with other network applications on your machine, pausing VPN is unavailable with the advanced kill switch turned on. So what I'm trying to say is with the generic kill switch, it's completely protecting you from everything online. The advanced, it will be a little more interfering. It might be a little bit slower. It might actually affect trying to pause the VPN and things like that. But I do recommend having it on because the last thing that you want to happen is a server goes down and it completely destroys all of your, no. The last thing you want to happen is the server goes down and your information is left on there for anybody to see. The whole reason we're using VPN, right, is to stop that. Now, a bit more in depth about it for Android, iOS, Linux, and Mac OS, okay? Kill switch is integrated into NordVPN, Linux, iOS, and Mac apps and pronounces system-wide network lock in case a VPN connection drops. If you use the open VPN protocol on your Mac, you'll be able to specify which apps you want the kill switch to shut down. So you can also enable the native kill switch, which is always on a VPN for Android 7 and later. NordVPN's kill switch won't be automatically activated when you download the app. So you actually have to physically go on and where I went on the app and do it yourself. Guys, find out more, do your own research into this, but like it says here, and it should do on most websites, the VPN kill switch is a must, okay? The kill switch is going to give you that additional bit of security that you need to be safe when you are browsing online. So you should activate it the second it downloads. Now guys, to download NordVPN, hit that link down below. It's gonna get you the most exclusive deal up to date, okay? And what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to onlyvpns.net. You're gonna click on get VPN. It's gonna show you that deal, guys. Please, please do your own research into kill switches and why they're so important. There you go, guys. What I need you to do is hit that link down below to get the most exclusive deals with VPNs on onlyvpns.net. And hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell if you wanna be notified. And I'll see you next time.